Okay, welcome back. Now, for all the Linux users out there, I am going to go ahead and show you how to create the same setup on Linux. So I have one virtual machine of Windows here, where we finish the configuration, and I have another virtual machine of yet another Linux here. Again, it's a fresh install, so I'm just going to go ahead and expand it across the screen and we're going to do pretty much the same thing. Now, if you're not using Linux, obviously you can skip these tutorials as I'm doing setup videos for all three operating systems in all likelihood. So just watch the ones that you need. So if you're a Windows user, watch the ones for Windows. If you're a Linux user, watch the ones for Linux. If you're a Mac user, watch the ones for Mac. Simple as that. No big deal. You don't need to watch all three of them. It's really rather pointless as the setup procedure is pretty much the same. I will be doing pretty much the same things. So go ahead and open up your web browser. I am using Fedora Linux distribution, so it might be different if you're using a Debian-based distribution, but I am a Fedora user. My main operating system is Fedora, so I figured I would show you. If you're wondering why am I using a virtual machine if my main operating system is Fedora, well, I'm not going to install these packages on my main machine as I'm not going to be doing the development on my main machine and I don't really feel like cleaning them up later on. Uh, as you can see, this should work. Yep, there you go. As you can see, this is my Linux desktop. It's just switching between them. So one machine can go on one desktop and another machine can go on a different desktop and then you can just roll them over. Let's say move this to desktop two and leave this here. Okay, so let me just do this. And then I can just go ahead and roll over to Fedora like this. It's really convenient. This is a really nice Linux feature where you can split your desktop apart and have multiple desktops and spin them around as the sides of a cube. But anyway, that's completely besides the point. I'm just gonna go ahead and expand this virtual machine across the screen here, just a cool feature that I wanted to show you. And now I have successfully managed to lose my notes on the other screen. Let me just, let me just go ahead and bring them back quickly. Um, move this to desktop two, please, as well. Excellent, there we go. My desktops switch on all screens, so I needed to move my notes to desktop two on my other screen, the one that you cannot see at the moment. Okay, so let's go ahead and expand this across. We need to go to the Atom site, so just type in Atom, your favorite search engine, as before. Go ahead and open it up here. And it says download.deb for Debian users. If you're a Debian user, then if you're using a Debian based distro or Debian, go ahead and download this one. If you're using a Red Hat based distro, go ahead, like Fedora is, go ahead and download this one. And just go ahead and click on save file. It shouldn't take long, it's fairly fast. You will also be needing Node.js. Now you have Node.js in the official repositories, but it's a little bit of an older version, so we're not going to be using that one. Now there is a difference here where you need to go into downloads and then scroll down and installing Node.js via Packet Manager. So go ahead and click on that. And now you have instructions for various Linux distributions. Mine is Fedora again, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on that one. And there will, if yours is different, just go ahead and click on a different one. And now I can go ahead and download it from here. You have Node.js version 6. No, I want the stable version, so I'm going to go ahead and go for 4. Just copy this command, Control c open up a terminal. Uh, okay, let me just do this. Okay, so control, control shift V is to paste in the terminal and control shift C is to copy in the terminal. Press enter and this should install it. Ah, okay, 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 I'm sorry. You need to become root. So just type in SU and then type in your password here. 
you won't see any password being typed out. That's just that's just the Unix way, so that somebody looking behind you would not be able to see the password. Control Shift V, press Enter, and let it run now. Okay, I seem to need I seem to be missing the GCC. No big deal. It's telling me, uh, it's yeah. Just go ahead and install it, and no big deal. Just run this and the one down below. So copy, and I'm gonna go ahead. Control Shift V, DNF, and I'm also going to be needing this. Control Shift C. Control Shift V. These are some additional packages that I'm going to require. So I'll just go ahead and install them as well. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. The installation from the repos is fairly fast. I can tell you that much. Now go to your downloads folder, wherever that might be on your machine. And you will see it says atom.x8664 RPM. If you're using a 32-bit machine, that's also fine. Just double click on it. There's also a way of doing this via the terminal, but I figured it'd be simpler to you to do it via GUI. So just, just wait for it. Uh, the apper might be a little bit slow because it's waiting for this to finish. You, you generally cannot install two packages at the same time via the packet manager, so that's kind of, that's a bit of a bummer. So just go ahead and click on install here, and provide the root root password, press click on authenticate. Shouldn't take too long, or it might, I don't know, it took a ton load of time on Windows. Keep in mind that these two virtual machines of Windows and Linux, they have, they've been allocated exactly the same amount of resources on the very same hardware. So they're both running on the same hardware. While this is going on, just let it run, let it install. And while that is happening, go back to Firefox. And there you go, it has been installed. Wow, it's way faster here. Uh, go ahead and type in GitHub, because we need to go over to GitHub. Type in ang angular slash uh, quick start. So angular slash quick start, the first one, click on it, download zip, click on that. Don't open with, just save file and click on OK. Hey, uh, there's the quick start, Adam. You need to go ahead and click on, well, you need the quick start. The Adam is already being installed. But we can go ahead and click on quick start as well, just so that you can see it needs, it's a zipped, it's a zipped file. We need to actually extract that. And I'm gonna go ahead and extract it to, I don't know. Let's extract. Let's let's extract it to document. Well, let's let's have some uh, continuity. Let's down. Let's extract it to desktop as before. Extraction completed successfully. I'm gonna go ahead and click on quit. No need to do anything else there. Now go ahead and start Adam because it won't start in an automated fashion here like it will in Windows. Wow, this is a lot faster. Uh, actually, you know what? Go ahead and see both instructional videos for Windows and for Linux just to compare the speed at which everything is happening. Both machines are running on exactly the same hardware and both virtual machines have been exa allotted exactly the same amount of resources. So go ahead and click on open project and then on open project here as well. And then go to desktop, quick start and click select it and then click, click on OK. And there you go. It's actually opened up. It's loaded, ready to go. Uh, no, no big deal there. Now, the next thing that we need to do is go back to our terminal. And here we're gonna go ahead and enter, we're gonna CD over to desktop of the current user. So home, if you're wondering how I'm typing fast, I'm just like H, then press tab, 
and the user is oops the user is test and then desk and then tab again and it's going to be like quick start master okay i am here and then I, you need to be in the quick start folder then you need to type in npm install purely doubt that it's going to work without root but let's just have a look and see shall we okay so we get a warning we get a warning don't worry about those as long as it's not an error you're good to go oh my god this is like so much faster here just do out of curiosity just check check out the windows setup videos and compare the speed at which everything happened i really want you to see i mean there's no technical reason why you should see but i would just like you to do it anyway okay i don't see any errors none that my eye can detect anyway and now we need to type in np npm start okay loading loading there you go it's done it's set it says localhost which is the address and then colon which and then after the colon you type in the port oh. and then after the colon you just type in the port the port is 3000 now this is only accessible from this machine locally this is not for outside access so don't worry you're not like opening up your machine to god knows what this is a local development server uh unless i don't know you have some other different settings with the router and the machine etc it should be the local development server period okay now that all of that is done we're gonna go ahead and go back to adam and we will need to install an add-on go ahead and click on packages uh, scroll down to settings view manage packages okay i'm just gonna do this a little bit find package by name type in adam uh sorry not here where it says packages scroll down to install and then type in here uh, adam dash type script click on package and let the search happen it says here adam typescript the first one the very first one and click on install now depending on the load on the server and all the other things that are in the process this might take a while i can tell you that now so this has nothing to do with your machine it doesn't matter how fast or slow your machine is i mean in some context i guess it does but for a file of this size i guess it doesn't <laughs> The problem is that the server on the other side is either loaded or there's something going on. So, and the time at which I am actually casting this tutorial is probably the peak at the peak in terms of how many people are downloading it. So this might take a while on a windows machine. When I downloaded it like 15, 20 minutes ago, it took maybe seven or eight minutes for the download to begin. And once the download began, everything happened really fast, but here apparently it happens straight away uh, now it's installed now it's actually installing it and it's installed which is amazing oh my god totally go and check out the windows tutorials <laughs> okay so that is all you really need to do that is the entirety of the setup video for linux and we have our environment set up ready to go uh leave the leave this running in the background this, this the development server that is we might do some we might do some tuning and tweaking later on in terms of the layout of the development environment because we want to change either the font size or we want to do something like that to tweak it to our own needs you can do that do some cosmetic changes i will show you later on how you can do that and we will have an roundup of this development environment i will show you where where what is uh, how the environment works, where what is the locations of various files, where you can tune and tweak what things, etc. So in terms of cosmetics, do whatever you want, uh, tune it to your liking. I personally will increase the font sizes so that you can actually see things a lot better. In any case, 
I'm gonna go ahead and bid you farewell here, and I'm gonna and if you're and if you're a Linux user, I would strongly recommend that you check out the Windows tutorials as well, not for any technical reasons, as I said, but just to see how much time it took for this to finish there and how much time it took for this to finish here. Uh, the procedure is pretty much exactly the same and the resources allocated to the boat machines are pretty much exactly the same. Actually, they are exactly the same and they're all running.